and Shay and Astro are back here visiting with me. Well, so I have a thought. We have a whole all of these workers. Here. We've got a lot of people got, here, but anyway. So Shay made this comment that he said, "Well, I hope and pray," and I'm like, "Are you really praying?" And I said, that's very rude. He thought it was rude that I asked that. And I said, but you know what? Like, that's just like a thing people say. Where so. if I tell someone I'm praying for you, I've already prayed. I've already said the prayer before I even type it. Because I'm not going to lie to them that I'm praying for them. Where I think, like, I don't want to sound rude, but do I sound rude? Like, I think people just write that, like, oh, I'm praying for you, girl. Well, are you really? So, I guess that's the question for the C6 fans. Mm -hmm. like, so, if you say that you're praying for someone, do you pray do for Do you them? actually pray? Have you prayed? Which I don't guess anybody that's that's watching this is going to say. say <laughs> yeah, well, I say, I say it, I'm going to, pray. but I don't. Like, I'm not going to, I don't even type the words, I'm praying for you, if I haven't already prayed. Because I don't want to say I'm praying and then I forget. You know, because like you can have good intentions. You know what I mean? Like you could have really good intentions and then never do what you said you were going to do. So if I type that I'm going to do something, I already do it. You know what's so good too is that I, this, this is about praying stuff. You know, a lot of people don't pray because they think that you got to be, have a, a fancy prayer uh, eloquent yeah like elaborate right. prayer right and we were watching service this past weekend yeah was so and the good. pastor he just said this little short prayer mm -hmm. before he started it he was said, you don't have to pray awesome. for 20 minutes no it could just be like right. something's something your yeah. friend needs you pray for him and you just say dear god <laughs> you know, you know what's going on. Shakers, are you going to start saying to people, <laughs> you know what's going are on? Are you really praying up? for me or did you just say it? Yeah. That's <laughs> what I told, I told Kimberly. She did it to me. I'm like, well, it made him mad, but I'm like, if people do it to well, you, you're don't say, oh, I'm hoping and praying. I'm like, have, do you, have you really prayed? Are you praying every day? Are you waking up saying, God, direct my steps? God, enlarge my territory. God bless me oh, indeed. Now, God you literally said you don't have to have some. It doesn't some have to be, but what I'm asking is, do you wake up every day and pray over it? That's the question. No, no I say, God, you know what I need. It doesn't have to be my prayer. I'm no, just saying. I'm saying. You are know, you asking God every day? You know what's on my mind. You know what's on my heart, and you know what I need. Please bless me. Are you really saying that every single day? Uh, yeah, I say it all the time. I pray all the time. Like, you don't have to like, I pray all the time. I think you I have to be intentional road. about praying. It doesn't have to be long. It can be while you're driving. It can be, but I'm just saying, are you intentionally asking God the exact, for the specific desires of your heart? That's what the word says mm -hmm. to ask for. So I need you in agreement with me mm -hmm. and doing it every day. Are you with me? C6 fam, are y'all with me? Can y'all pray over us? Pray over our family? Okay. Pray over our channel? Pray over our book? Pray a hedge of protection around our kids? Just say it real quick. Let me know if you prayed. Like this so, video. Subscribe to <laughs> while, we're, while you're praying. So if, but uh, okay, here's my question. Okay. Like I want to ask you a question. I mean, I'm just, this is just like, I mean, I pray. And I, and I pray like out loud. But my question is, is like, you know, God, he's all knowing. So he knows my thoughts. He knows what I'm thinking. You're he supposed knows, to pray specifically. He knows what I, I'm believing. But he, he, he wants to hear this specific. I believe, yes. These are fancy I mean, you, that's thoughts. That's what you believe. You that's believe. what I believe, yes. But that's not what you know? Well, that's what I've been told. Oh. I mean, I, 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 I don't. I just know what I know. I don't. I don't have some theology to back it up. I just know what I've been told. Ask God specifically what the desires of your heart is, even though He knows. On voice it out loud. Speak it out loud. Speak it into existence. Believe it into existence. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Yes, C six fam. Do you believe it with us? Pray for us. <laughs> and don't just say you will. Please do. I'll be on the vlog.
<laughs> okay, so it's been a big day. Yep, got a new car. Aspen, were you with him? Oh, uh, no. Through the he process. Did he did it all by himself. Like, yep. I know. Y'all, Walker did. Well, you were with your dad when you bought your last yeah. car. And he was the only one on the note for his yeah. last car. But today... Yep. I went through the whole process myself. It was a long day, but we got it done. Now we're going to go see He just the car. bought a brand new That's car, it. negotiated yeah. it. Yep. So awesome. Uh, everything. Let's go see it, y'all. Is it only two seats? No, there's So let's check it out. Here we come. Astro wants to see it. Is it cool? Yeah, it's awesome. Come on, Astro. Let me get a good shot for the C6 fam. I love it. Yeah, it's really awesome. It is. It's really pretty, baby. Do you like it as good as your last car? Oh, yeah, I like it a lot. Okay, let me see. So let's check it out. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it looks like right waves did on the inside. Mm -hmm. Will it have, does it have radio? Yeah, it has I a mean, series. not, I, you know what I mean. I know it has a radio. <laughs> does it have XM or whatever? Yeah. Let's see, Mav. Uh -huh. See how much room you have. Yeah, that's I can pretty good. It's, just this thing. Well, yeah, it's really the same size that waves was. She just had the back. Yeah. yeah. The Walker's like. You're the only one that gets in my car anyway, so mm -hmm. two dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Love it. It's awesome. How long did it take? Eight hours? No, uh, it took a long time. I was there all Longer day. than eight hours? Hey, everybody. Thought I'd do a quick vlog. I have been working, working, working nonstop. Um, a lot of the times my work is on the phone. So one thing that's good is I can set up camp wherever I am and get tons done. So, that's what I've been doing today, then weaving stuff around it. Shook wanted me to come and have lunch with him at school. It was grandparents' day yesterday, and my mom has been really sick, so I didn't even tell her, because I knew she would try to come, and she does not need to come because she's sick. And my daddy was dealing with some stuff with some of his cattle, and long story short, it just wasn't in the cards for Shug to have a grandparent there and you know sometimes days that are special for some kids are disappointing for other kids when you don't have the grandparent or your grandparents unable to come and or parent or whatever it is and our parent my parents have never met so I've never really had this perspective and perspective is everything right so my kids have always had a grandparent there they've never not this was the first year ever and Shook was just, he was fine, but I could tell he was a little down because he said, would you please come have lunch with me? And I think because everybody's grandparents were there having lunch with them, he just felt left out. So I had lunch with him today. And I just want to tell y'all, a grateful heart goes a super long way in this world. You know, I've just found people want to do things for people that appreciate them and are thankful even though I would do anything for any of my kids regardless, but the way the kids, especially Memphis, go over above beyond to say thank you, thank you. He probably, he thanked me at least five times. Thank you, mama, for coming to lunch with me. This was so fun. Thank you, mama. I know you're busy. I love grateful people, and that's one thing I'm gonna instill in my family always. And so then I ran from there, so, I love you, Shug. I'm proud of you. And I ran from there and had lunch with Walk and Wave. And Waverland and I got some work done and some scheduling and some things figured out. We're actually about to be back together. I'm doing a couple errands at Target real quick. But then we're going to be back together. One thing we do is when we're working and we're making phone calls or we're, get, we're getting things set up, 
um, we like to kind of powwow together and she'll show me here's what the person said or how could I have done that different so I can guide her and coach her. But we do it while we do fun things. So we're getting pedicures and booking. So it's going to be fun. And then we got a baseball game. So I'm already in mama baseball gear for tonight. So y'all, I'm just grateful. It's a gorgeous day. It is 83 degrees. Thank you, Jesus, in Texas. We have been having nothing but like 105 degree, degree days. Now, Shay is solid labor today. He was so happy it was going to be cooler, so he's been working. So, I haven't seen that man of mine today, but can't wait to catch up with him too. So, tonight, baseball, but I'm going to go get some more work done. So, one neat thing about when you work for yourself or you're an entrepreneur, you get to sprinkle it in to life. So sometimes people go, do you work? I'm like, I work all the time. I work in my car. I work at lunch. I'm working around everything I'm doing. So yes, y'all, I work. Good catch. Good job, Mab. home. It's Friday night and we're home. Well, thank you Jesus that we did not have a baseball game. Tonight. Okay, but hold on. You can tell that. But I'm just like, yeah. thank you God. So we're home on Friday night, which is great because we've been gone every night this week. So our little town just got a Domino's. Look at this. Look just at this heaven. Just got a Domino's. Do they deliver to us? Well, it was too busy to ask the poor girl that was, anyway. So said they do. They're a little bit uh, slammed. Um, I guess the town is like, pizza. like praising this? Domino's, praising Domino's. So I think it took about an hour to get our pizza and that's carry out, not delivery. But anyways, oh, wow. it's fresh and hot. So now you, what is it? So Ellen just texted me or she called me. She didn't text me. She called me. Um, where we play baseball and basketball called the PSA. PSA, there's an active shooter. Everybody's on lockdown. She was making sure we weren't over there. We've been over there every day. I'm just so thankful we're not there. We're supposed to be there tomorrow. This freaking world's gone crazy. Which like, are crazy people are crazy. They're gonna find a way. Well, they're getting so much attention. They're gonna Yeah, do they're gonna find a way to do crazy things. So uh, that's all I wanna say. And dad say so. the crazy people don't like bacon, so. <laughs> don't listen to him. But anyways, but we're gonna enjoy our dominoes. We're gonna pray for the people that are at PSA. People need love. Yes. That's what they yeah. need. So And Jesus. Jesus. You don't have Jesus, you need Jesus. So, so anyways, hope everyone's having a great Friday night. Peace. Hey C6 fam. Shay and I. I don't know where you want me to sit. Just sit in your chair. Oh. What? The dog. You don't have to be close to me. The dog is taking up all the space. You look cute over there. I do. We've been hanging out. It's a rainy, rainy morning here on the ranch. Which is a good thing because it hadn't rained in about a month, it seems We like. need the rain for sure. So we're in a busy season right now. 
And um, I know earlier on this video, you saw the excitement we had when Walker got his Jeep. <laughs> and it was the first car deal he did on his own. He had bought another car, but Shay helped him. And one thing we've been real diligent about is making sure we helped our kids have good credit as they were in college and we helped them develop that by putting them on our credit. And so as they've become adults, they've been able to get their own vehicles and they have established credit. So this deal, I, I don't want to toot our horn, but I'm going to because we helped him when he was young learn about credit. Like he, ch ch all through college, he would check his credit karma all the time and see where he was. And it was a big deal to him. So he's kept really amazing credit. And now he's an adult and has a job and actually pays for that. Which I want to uh, say, this, I, I want to say something about credit. Credit's a bull crap. It's such a racket. And it's because just... here's Kimberly, my credit. This is this is no joke. My credit. We paid off our house several years ago completely. Our credit went down. Our credit went down when we paid when off we our money. owned our house. <laughs> so dumb. Yeah, dumb. But dumb. anyways, okay. So if you have loans or you have credit cards, it's a good thing. <laughs> just don't use them. <laughs> Just barely it. use them or use them and pay them right off and your credit score will go way up. We could, we could do a whole segment about credit. But back to what we're telling you. Walker bought this Jeep and so excited. He was just excited about it because he's very practical and he's like, eventually I'm going to have like a dad car. And so I think it would be fun to have a small car that I won't really have once I have kids and stuff because they won't fit. Right. So we got this Jeep. Two, door, two, door, two Jeep. door. Top off, you know, just love and life. First job. Girlfriend. <laughs> He's just doing it. Plus his art. <laughs> this Jeep is brand spanking new and it has been in the shop three times. Well, basically, three. it's been in twice, <laughs> but it actually had three had, problems. Had another one issue. time it never got out yeah. once it was in. Right. They had right. to call engineers in because the computer system was completely down. They couldn't figure it out. They had to. They said we had to call corporate. So it's been a little bit of a debacle. So we know you saw his really cute Jeep earlier in this video. Which he's got it back. He does have it back. Finally, two weeks later. So we're praying we don't have any more problems. He doesn't have any more problems. He's dealt with this. He's talked to the GM. He's done everything himself. We let our kids navigate through their own problems. They call for advice. Then they deal. Now, Shay did call a couple times. I've had some conversations with the GM. Yes, but you said, Walker, you need to go in and meet with him face-to-face. -face. You need to talk to him about this. Your name's on this car. This is your problem, but we're going to help you with it. So, that's kind of where we've been. So, yes, yay, Walker got a new car in this video. Oh, it's been a shop a month. So, y'all... If you have any advice, be sure and comment. Like this video. If you want us to keep making these, like it. And give us a comment if you have any advice. If you've ever bought a brand spanking new car and had massive problems. The car literally turned off in the middle of the road. Shut down. It said engine is turning off. And turned off. And would not come back on. No. Yeah. Okay, y'all. And one last thing just to end this. We got dominoes this week, y'all. It's it's big stuff out here in Fannin County. <laughs> We've had a crazy week in Fannin County, actually. Oh, crazy week. But we have had Domino's Pizza two times this week. I'm pretty pumped about that. Pretty pumped. One time delivered. When they deliver. We've never. We talked a place twice in delivering here once after I had the baby. Mm -hmm. Once we paid them a whole lot to deliver while we were having a function they don't deliver 
but this is like they really do deliver. Like you just have to tip, you know? It's real exciting. Dominoes, we're happy. So y'all subscribe, like our video, and...